the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video finding out the square root of a perfect square example 576 with the application of assumed quotient rule set the number 576 in the abacus that is 6 must be set in the fourth column from the right 7 in the fifth column and 5 in the sixth column we can set the number in the reverse way too starting from the highest digit the purpose of leaving three columns to the right of the number is the provision we make in case the square root of the number involves a decimals in this example it will not be applicable as we are dealing with the number which is a perfect square let us group the number as 5 and 76 now ask what is the highest perfect square in 5 it is 2 here 2 is smaller than the divisor in a division problem and therefore we have to apply the division rules that is set 2 by skipping a column to the left of 5 by saying 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4 clear 4 from 5 and now you are left with 176 double the first digit of the square root and place it in the extreme left of the abacus that means you have to set 4 in the extreme left of the abacus now consider the 17 of the remainder how many fours in 17 it is 4 let us apply the assumed quotient rule here that is reduce 1 from 4 and set uh, the number 3 as the second digit of the square root 3 is set to the right of the first digit of the square root 2 you will get 23 now set the 3 also on the right side of the number 4 which is already set in the left extreme of the abacus now multiply 3 of 23 with 43 and subtract the value from 176 that is 1 from 1 and 2 from 7 now you are left with the 56 in the abacus multiply 3 and 3 which is 9 subtract 9 from 56 and you get 47 as the remainder 47 is larger than the divisor 43 we got by considering the number 3 as the assumed quotient which cannot be and therefore let us reset the last part of the calculation and the number becomes 176 now add 1 to the square root making it 24 we reset the number 3 in the left side of the abacus and make it 44 now 4 should be multiplied with the 44 that is 4 into 4 that is 16 so subtract 1 from 1 and 6 from 7 and again multiply 4 with 4 that is 16 and you subtract 1 from 1 and 6 from 6 and the net remainder is zero so what we have done we had to reset the problem when we found out that the assumed quotient is smaller than the actual quotient in the case of the assumed quotient greater than the actual value of the particular digit of the square root the child may again have to reset the problem and do it again in any way the assumed quotient will clearly reveal 
whether we are correct or not in the calculation process.